How do you spend your time? Most of us lead relatively normal lives. We go to work, we care for our families, we pursue our ambitions and personal interests. But apart from all the time we put into these things, how much attention do we actually give to God? How much effort do we put to building a close relationship with Jesus Christ? The real question I want to ask you is, are you living for Jesus or are you content living life and simply putting Jesus Christ alongside everything and everyone else? In our world today, not only is there evil and trouble lurking at every corner, but there are all sorts of things vying for our attention. And it becomes so easy to be distracted from the things that really matter. However, my firm belief is that in this busy, busy world, in the midst of all the chaos and confusion, the voice of God is still calling out to us. However, it's up to us to listen. Hebrews 3 verse 15 says, as it is said, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion. Proverbs 28 verse 14 says, blessed is the one who fears the Lord always, but whoever hardens his heart will fall into calamity. What does it mean to have a hardened heart? It means spiritual blindness. It means insensitivity towards God's beauty and glory. It means chasing after our own desires instead of the things of God. But thankfully, in His mercy, God has offered to change our hearts. God can change our hearts. Ezekiel 36 verse 26 says, And I will give you a new heart and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Since the beginning of time, God has been drawing us toward himself. Even when we stubbornly ignore him, he doesn't walk away. He never gives up on us. In the book of Matthew, Jesus compares his second coming to a great wedding feast, a joyful celebration of the perfect union between Jesus Christ and his bride, the church. And so we are invited to the greatest dinner banquet of all time. Have you responded to that invitation? Or are you putting it off until the last minute? Maybe you've become deafened to the sound of him knocking. Maybe your attention has been captured by other things like work and finances and romantic love. Those things seem important until you realize that they are only temporary. And when your life is over or Jesus returns, they will no longer be of any value. We all think we have more time to get right with God. But the truth is that life is short. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Everything we do today matters on an eternal level. If Jesus came back today, would you be ready? Would you be able to say that your heart was firmly set on Christ? Now is the time to place your faith in Jesus. From the foundation of the earth, he has been waiting for you. But his invitation won't stand forever. Today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Instead, allow him to come in and change your life forever. Now let us pray. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would forgive me for all the time I've wasted in chasing after these earthly things that will never satisfy me. Father, we as humans can spend so much of our lives trying to buy happiness. We could spend so much time chasing all these things concerning our careers, our families, and finances. But Father, I pray that you would redirect our focus, redirect our hearts to focus on you. You, Lord, have offered me, you've offered us the greatest gift in the entire universe, which is the opportunity to spend an eternity with you in heaven. Your word says in Revelation 3, verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. 
If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and eat with him, and he with me. Lord, forgive me if all this time you've been gently knocking at my door, waiting for me to respond, and yet I have pushed you. Forgive me. Forgive me if time and time again I have chosen my own desires instead of you. But Lord, I thank you for never giving up on me. I thank you for always loving me. I thank you for the Holy Spirit who continually convicts me and draws me toward you. Father, your word in James 4 verse 14 says, Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. This is a sobering reminder of how short the life we live on this earth really is. And so, Lord, I humble myself to accept your gift of grace and to start living for you. I desire to live your will. I desire to be an effective Christian who has a burning passion to witness about the amazing love of Jesus Christ. Father, give me a heart that is sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit, a heart that is sensitive to the voice of Jesus Christ, so that whenever you speak, I will be sensitive to your voice. Give me a willingness to listen. Help me to tune out every other voice in this loud and noisy world. Give me a spirit that is able to discern good from evil, and as this world drifts further from you every day, I pray that I would draw closer and closer to you. Give me the ability to recognize when Satan is trying to lead me away from you. Father, help me not to backslide in my faith or begin to compromise with sin. Help me to be your faithful servant up until the day you return. Lord, make my heart receptive to you. Help me to recognize your hand in every earthly manner. Help me to see beyond the things that are right in front of me and teach me to number my days. Matthew 24 verse 44 says, Therefore, you also must be ready for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Lord, I know that my life is but a mist, here today and gone tomorrow, but my hope is still in you. You are coming quickly, like a thief in the night, and on that day, I pray that I'll be ready. Help me not to take anything for granted, don't let my heart become hard towards you. Empower me to live each day for you, as if it were my last. Father, I thank you for the time you have given me. Help me to be wise in how I spend this time here on earth. You are worthy to be glorified. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.